good Gwent people and welcome to For the Raging. Well, it's a madhouse in here today as per usual. These scientists, man, I don't think all their dogs are barking. I'm talking Celsa dancing with the underwear on the outside of the pants. It's freaking weird. Anyway, today we are marveling in the mysteries of Loch Fiend, the new harmony scenario. Love it. And we are triggering said harmony with hand buff. Dream team much? Larry! Enough with the goddamn pineapple! <laughs> He's gonna hurt himself. Anyway, let's get into it. Mysteries of Loch Finn, our harmony scenario, what a beautiful thing. Progress whenever you play a harmony unit, of course. Uh, the first card that you get when you place the scenario is the Lake Guardian Dawn Aspect. It was my mission in life to get the biggest Lake Guardian that I could get. I eventually got it up to 11 which is just intimidating. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. Chapter one, whenever you play a Scoia'tael unit, boost it by one for every category it has. Most of our cards have just one category. Some have two, like the Siege Tower. It's got two, Machine and Siege Tower, the Dwarven Chariot guy. Uh, so that's a, that's a good little boost that played off the scenario, but you know, most things will just boost by one, which is fine. It's a one point of turn engine. And uh, chapter two, you want to spawn and play the Lock Fiend Convergence which is this dude right here. You're gonna create a bronze Scoia'tael unit with a primary category that you don't control, thus procking all your Harmony engines, which is great. So you wanna have all the Harmony engines you have in your hand down before you complete the scenario. This thing is an absolute beast. Saskia the Dragon is here. This is a beautiful 10 point play. You can spawn one of these three guys. Remember to spawn the one that you already have. You don't want to ruin a Harmony trigger. She is a Harmony engine herself and uh, just a really nice fit for this deck. The Lake Guardian Dawn aspect is the goofy little bastard that threads all of this nonsense together. He acts like a hand buff since he will boost while in your hand, while in your deck, while on the board, it doesn't matter where he is. And uh, so when, I, when he catches the harmony triggers, he kind of looks like he was hand buffing. So I thought, you know, maybe we should hand buff him. Thus, hand buff harmony. Anyway, this is a great card. Uh, kind of reminds me of Regis from uh, Vampire decks. You know, he gets massive towards the end of the game and uh, it's just a good finisher. Sursa is a little bridge between worlds here. She's a harmony engine plus a hand buff tool. So, uh, excellent card in this deck. Uh, damage a, an enemy unit by two. If you can get the death blow, you get to choose which unit in your hand you're going to boost by two. If you don't get the death blow, she'll just boost a random person by two. So, uh, you know, at very worst, she's an eight for seven plus a harmony engine. Excellent card. Percival shooting back. One of my favorite voice lines in the game. Anyone see me pair? Oh, I love this guy. Great Harmony Engine here. Every time the Harmony is triggered, boosts by two. He's a dangerous little fella. The Antherian is a very versatile Harmony card. I love these infused cards now in this patch. It really kind of opens the doors for some new strategies, you know. So this guy can make a non-Harmony card a Harmony card. Thus, he's two Harmony Engines in one. And, uh... I don't quite know how to describe him. Kind of looks like a moose blue jay pigeon. We've got the half elf hunter, a six for five, a harmony engine, and he's gonna produce the elven dead eye. That may be a good target for the Antherian. So, excellent card here. Last but not least, we've got the Chameleon, a really powerful bronze card here. He's going to infuse himself with a random category that you don't control and therefore trigger all your Harmony Engines on the board. And for an order, he can do the same thing and he's going to keep doing that until he gets himself down to one point as he loses a point every time you use the order. We carry the cute little oak critter here, an 8 for 4 using the devotion ability. They've buffed this card, I and mean, it's just fantastic now. Plus, he's so cute and disgusting at the same time. Anyway, we carry this guy just for a harmony trigger. Plus, we've got the dwarven berserker for something very similar, the dwarven chariot for a trigger, and the witcher for a trigger. Everything else is hand buff. 
Dork, the cornerstone of our hand buff archetype. He's going to be the target for our hand buffs when we can control it. And uh, the target for our stratagen, which will be the enchanted armor. Give a unit in your hand three, or boost it by three. Give it two armor. Once you boost Torque by three, he boosts someone else by three. So this turns into a six point stratagen. Nothing wrong with that. The biggest boost that we're going to give to Torque is from the Farseer in our opening hand. If you remember how this goes, we want to use our leader ability, uh, boost four units in your hand by one. We're going to use two charges, boost eight units, skip the Farseer, skip Torque, and then when we play the Farseer, she's going to boost Torque by eight points, and Torque is going to boost someone else by eight points. That's 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. Yeah, 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 yeah. We carry a glaze as one of our payoff cards. If you can get her in your opening hand, you are laughing. At the end of the game, she will double the boosts put on her, so a huge point slam here. Simless, he's going to play all the copies of a bronze special card in your deck at once. We are targeting the double Bountiful Harvest. So you're going to boost something in your hand by two, depending on what option you choose from the Bountiful Harvest. Uh, it's a big tempo play, nice point slam, good hand buff. We've got Dunka, who's going to boost something in our hand by one at the end of each turn. And the Hawker Smugglers, who's going to do the very same thing, except not as green. Hey! And last but not least for our hand buff, we've got the Hawker Support. Aim for a boosted unit in your hand. Boost it by three. Aim for a boosted Torque. Boost Torque by three. Torque boost something else by three. That's a nine point card. And man, these guys love shaking hands. Like, still! Well, that about sums up the deck. You know, jokes aside, this one's actually pretty strong. It got me to rank one. Uh, there's a lot of control out there right now, so when you can hide your points in your hand instead of put it out on the chopping block, well, I mean, that's a pretty big advantage right now. <laughs> so, um, we've got some full games for you with some creepy voiced over commentary. So, kick back, put your feet up, let's watch some Gwent. Well, to get things started off for this evening's entertainment, we're going against one of the most controlled decks there is in this patch. The Pirates Big Band, by the way. Looking around at this hand, seeing the Farseer, pretty happy about that. We're going to get that nice big Farseer play. And not a whole lot of hand buff, so we're going to focus on Harmony. Let's go ahead and get that far seer rocking and rolling. So yeah, we boost everything besides the seer and torque, and then we get a nice 16 point boost in hand. Which is not ridiculous at all. This moment, I've seen it already. Boom! Look at that, my god! Our opponent doesn't even know what to hit him. Holy cow, okay, he's coming in hard. Yep, he, he answers in kind. Six point strategy in there. He's not messing around. He's got crack on crate on his side. I'm fine. Trying to get a little harmony sound. Annihilates the poor dead eye. Ah, you had to go. This point, I'm thinking, you know, he answered tough. I'm gonna answer tough too. Maybe we'll get a little bit of Percy out there, absorb some damage from the desire. Let's see what he does.
Just thinking about it. These decisions don't come easy all the time. Don't you pester me. A very non-threatening scald. Very happy to see that. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna follow me. pick away at the Oncrate longship. Get some nice harmony engines going. some pretty decent armor look at this that boat got four armor on it already my god I have a pass and we would have been smart to take this but I'm a sucker for punishment there you go okay we got the Ethereum down I'm trying to get the Farseer as a Harmony engine as well. To get five engines out there, I think that'd be pretty rocking and rolling. The points are looking all right in our favor right now. Sursa, my lord! <laughs> I do love pirates. I prefer elves. Oh, big harmony boost there. Look at the score. I'm thinking, hey, maybe I got a chance here. Yep, definitely losing on even. <laughs> so I'm kind of planning to play Simless just for some thinning, if anything. I figure let's get some harmony value. Cat Witcher's in the adrenaline state. Gotta love it. Picking on my chameleon. And annihilated. Apparently he hates chameleons. Cannot believe the terror of the seas just came out. <laughs> like, look at his board. We got terror, crack on Craig Morgbark. He wants to win on even. So I'm looking for a target now for the archer. Found it. Go get him. Slightly ahead. We're losing on even. Guaranteed. This is a dangerous move by our opponent. He's got waiting. <laughs> Pirates are awesome. Man. 
raining down the hurt on our side of the board. And that's it. Looks pretty devastating, unless you look in our hand where we have conveniently 40 points. <laughs> This was an early version of this deck. We still had Ithleen in here. Since this, Ithleen was moved out for Saskia. But uh, Ithleen still plays well here. When the white frost comes, do not beat the yellow snow. See the dawn aspect is still triggering harmony. Finds the mysteries. Man, sometimes I'm so unlucky and sometimes I get the scenario. I think, all right, got a couple of triggers here. Let's just get it started. Hey, we'll get it started right. So what do we have here? Nine. Okay, it gets better. It gets better. The heat wave comes up. I'm so surprised to see that because I'm a I'm a, a hands off deck. You know, I'm, I have huge points left in hand, but he wants the heat wave that. I mean, well, that's okay. That's all right. There's the pirate scenario. Awesome card. I want to set up some harmony stuff on the board using the last leader charge. Opponent about to rain down some absolute hurt on us. Fellow. Nice big trigger with the siege engine. Yeah! Aspect is dead as a doornail. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Definitely a more threatening skull finds his discard target. I want to start spreading around a little bit of armor. Maybe you could uh, absorb some of that cataclysm. What a tiny little dunker there. So neat. Huge discard yeah. from the opponent yeah. finds every single discard target thins down to zero. Very impressive. Hey, the humans have no our right to big make old such a claim. Are you starting to see the writing on the wall? around some armor, offload the target, I mean the <laughs> order, and uh, yeah, 33 point aspect, that's pretty good. GG! Alright, game number two, we're going up against Tactics Nilfgaard, a little bit more control, why not? Well, so far some pretty easy mulligans. I see the Farseer, I see a Glaze, this is a nice looking opening and good mix of harmony and hand buff. Yeah, sir. 
Okay, we're gonna start off with that gigantic, ridiculous Farseer play. Because, why not? Seen it already. Gizengis! Five points on the outside, sixteen points on the inside. The opponent setting up his fire scorpion, of course. We are gonna get a little bit of harmony on the go. Six point strategy. Love that torque. There, I gotta love it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. A convenient three power unit for you. <laughs> All right, got some harmony, got some hand buff going. Opponent absolutely hates hawker smugglers. No time for it. We choose the Jedi because we already have the elf on the board. Nice big play there. Two harmony engines. Ooh. Huge 11 point play here by the opponent. Ouch. Oi! Hi there! Come here! There you go. Nice nine point play with the support. Got some harmony triggering. I prefer the company of beasts. Okay, we have a pass that we just will not take. <laughs> just, just, just the death! Lieutenant Flouts will lead the scouts. Opponent pulls out a mirror. There is but one punishment for traitors. Yes, sir. Don't want any part of that. Just in case he's running Terra Nova or something like that, I don't want to give him any uh, spying options. Love how he pings the armor off of the Berserker there. Guess he's afraid of random pings. Who is it, though, you know? Who can blame him? Let's give him the round. He's thinking about it. There's a lot of thinking in the game of Gwent, you know. It's a good time to reflect <laughs> on the world and your place in it. And to rope. Rope your opponents into oblivion. Aha! Uh -huh. Nothing will stop us. Coup de gras. Oh, he's going for Saskia. Fantastic play. I need time for you to no. die. Nice. Okay, our opponent has round control. fact that we are dearly going to pay for <laughs> foreshadowing nice looking hand hand buff harmony let's go you know I could have swore he was going to drive past wrong oh this is a very intimidating start. I want to ping off the armor, but in hindsight, probably should have used the Cat Witcher. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Hindsight is 2020. Too bad 
bad signs. It is better to be on the winning one. Bingo. Nice protected hefty helge. Our opponent's feeling good. Special I need to feel good too. You, Here comes the 13 point hawker smuggler. I feel better. Yeah. We're in good shape now, right? Right? Brings the smuggler down to 11. And why would he do that? Because his Ardal is set to 11. <laughs> Fantastic play by the opponent. Oh my lord. I am in an absolute world of hurt right now. Okay, got the Ethereum going. We want to set up some harmony triggers. Not that it's going to matter. Throws Roderick on our side of the board, thus effectively removing the human trigger, by the way. Nice cause. No. We don't they care don't about Xavier. And no additional harmony engines for us. Things are looking bleak. Use up the last of our leader charge because we're desperate. Let's try another hawker smuggler, eh? Good time Push coming down on. again. What no mercy. other gold card is our opponent going to get this time? Uh oh. How about the high roll of the century? Only one with no Dear God. <laughs> Simless with the double diplomacy. Ay, ay, ay. He had the Harmony engine on his side of the board, too. He didn't get great pulls from his diplomacies, but it could have. My god, that could have been really bad. Not that it wasn't bad. It, it's bad. <laughs> okay, we're throwing down the Cat Witcher is kind of a uh, cannon fodder. If you look at that hefty helge, nothing's going to last long. Look at this! Oh, the roll punishment. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Utter devastation, folks. Whoa. Whew. Feeling good. Are you Feeling good. Kidding it's me? all under that control. Of, of course, we hit the shield because why not? <laughs> why hit one of the other three guys, you know? And he just wants Stars to win. God love him. Okay. He's gonna get the place. He's gonna get the torque. We survived the round. But with nothing left. Look at his deck. He's got literally three cards left. Wah. We've got twelve, so we need some luck here now. Nope. Kinda. Yes, sir. Finds the mysteries. Okay, something else. Ah, oh boy. Now that's a nice looking here. Ooh! Dawn Aspect is sitting at 11. That's what I'm talking about. Hellcats out! I spent more time with that. Got buddy Percy. For three random cards, this isn't bad. He takes Percy instead of the 11 point. I don't know why. There you go. Finish it off. 
Our opponent wants nothing to do with it. GG, my friend. And our third game, it looks like we're going up against a red free deck. Super! A little bit more control. We are on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. We find the Farseer again, gotta love to see that. And looks like it's full of harmony and hand buff. Well, that's what we're doing here. All right. And yet again, we're gonna start off with this very wholesome Farseer play. <laughs> Fireworks, fireworks. 16 points plus 5 is 21. My lord in heaven. Mata! This dance. Right! You will never I imagine forget. he's dropping his rent free right into his hand. We're setting up some harmony with Ethereum. Get our 6 point. Stratagen. We are not Few folks setting up harmony with the theory. Wood. Let's try Special a little flags. hand buff. Just for you, love. Hit torque there. Say the we are not doing hand buff. Let's try some more oh, harmony. No. Pick at us, nice. All males are your foes. Pick right back at you. Okay, we got a little bit of harmony set up. Okay, he removes the human from our board. We can now get a human <laughs> harmony trigger. Gonna synergize well with the sea God, love to see that. Okay, that's unfortunate. Nice pull by the opponent there. All right, nice trigger of harmony. That'll synergize with the berserker, like we mentioned. He plays on. What kind of a deck is milling and breaking hearts? <laughs> I thought first, you know, he's got a, a piece of armor there. I'm going to throw All around right, a little bit of uh, armor on top to try and absorb some of those spearmen things. And of course, I go right after the, one of the two people on his board with armor. It's my kind of luck. You gotta love it. Together. Ren Up free gang. You see Ren free gang. You see Ren free. Okay, everybody on the front row's got armor. Are you fucking kidding that me? Might be Hacker, instead it? of crowns. Lifting armor. Wow, very interesting play. I just do not want to commit anything more in my hand, and we're losing on even yet again, my friend. That seems to be just the way it goes when you play hand buff. Or harmony. <laughs> Looking like a nice hand there. We'll keep that. See what our opponent wants to do. Maybe he'll drive pass? No, sir. Uh-oh. Actions define us, mm. not appearances. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> okay, we got to stay ahead here. We don't want to give him card advantage. Oh 
there goes the scenario. Okay, fair enough. He is a Renfrey. Uh, Wholesome stuff. And we both have our engines ticking along. That's a nice big harmony trigger there with the chameleon. Oh boy, here she is. They'll pay for my stolen birthright. This part is scary. Oh god. <laughs> what kind of horror? Will she inflict on us? Mm -hmm. Excellent bleed so far by the opponent. Okay, we're at 22. After this, we're at 24. All right, we gained two points like that. Very good. So you get our big old Dunka. Is all right, because we're still gonna boost up Tor. All right, not bad. Ooh, look at that nice five point boost at the end there. Not enough. Okay, final round. Here we come. This person has a fantastic card back, by the way. All right, we got some nice looking cards here. Be nice to get that down aspect though. Oh, let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. Oh, my lord. Okay. Just escaped by the skin of her teeth. Using up the last leader charge. Let's play the Anthurian with a little harmony action on a board. Okay. Good counter. Better counter. No harmony action for us. Let's try a little hand buff. Just so the spearman can have somebody to pick on. Okay, a little bit more milling. Oh, that's unfortunate. I usually don't emote guys, but oh god. I had to put that one in there. Why should I? Okay, here's a nice big boost. <laughs> ay ay ay. All right. Uh, you can't hear me in game, but I am feeling good about that one. Okay, this costs some damage. Twenty eight point torque. Nothing wrong with that. He's got the Heracloc, so this is a very interesting ye deck our opponent is playing with, I must say. Right, here we go, last card. Sinking! looking good. You got 40 points with one card. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Uh-oh. Quite the main task. Oh my god! Jeez, it was only four points. I can't believe how close that one. GG, Mr. Opponent, or Mrs. Opponent. Good game. Hello, Rageants, and thanks for making it this far into the video. You guys are fantastic. You know who you are. You know who you are. Speaking of, I just reached 50 subscribers. Now, as far as that goes, uh, as far as content creators go, that might not sound that impressive, <laughs> but to me, my mind is blown. I can't believe this. When I first started, I didn't think anybody would be interested in this. You know, I was just doing it for fun. So, and here we are. Rage Clan is 50 members strong. So, uh, thank you so much for that. And hey, I'll see you on the board.